Vince did his big grab the brass ring speech, which was just absolute fucking horseshit, to be honest with you, um, because you can only grab what they're willing to hand out. Yeah. So he did that speech, and then he brought up the whole thing. He's like, nobody goes to I get it, where we're at, you know, our competitors here running shows. Nobody goes to the show. I didn't intend going to the show, and I don't know why, but at that exact moment, I, I pretty much knew Robbie was going to go, only because I know he'd been having, he, he wasn't happy there either, and especially with me gone, you know, he did a couple of good matches, apparently a really, really good one with Ron Killings that got him noticed, but at the same time, like, he still got his family back in Ontario, and they were going through a couple of problems there, and he'd asked for time off, they told him no. So I'm sitting in the in the hotel room with my boy, my feeding them, talking about feeding them. You get that in a second. Um, talking about feeding them, uh, and I get this phone call, and I pick up the phone. It was fucking Johnny Ace again. Johnny Ace, a piece of shit, by the way. Um, <laughs> I heard. <laughs> oh, absolute dog shit. I'm so glad to get fired. Anyways. Um, he starts going off, your cousin was just seen on live TV for TNA and blah, blah, And I know it probably wasn't the right time. I started fucking dying laughing. Well, I am barely laughing on the phone. I said, I'll meet you at the bar. So I go down to the bar. Taker's there. Finley's there. Uh, Johnny Gase comes over to talk to me. And he's like, you don't have a problem with this? And I'm like, Johnny, I don't know what I can tell you, man. I've got one arm right now, and I've got a kid. I'm like, I'm just trying to get by, you know? Um, so I sat there with Harry Smith and, and, and his sister, Georgia, for a little bit, and we had something to eat and a drink. And eventually, Robbie came back, and uh, did Fit lost his shit. Fit was irate. Now, obviously, you know, I understand where he's coming from. Yeah. You know? He came down here and like he made a lunge and Taker actually stopped him and went, Dave, calm the fuck down. Because Robbie had the balls to do what he did well. He did it in purpose or not, and I'm almost certain he did. He had the balls to do that and he walked right back into the bar to face the music. 